What's up guys? Welcome back to Keto Rewind. I'm Jess and today's video is talking about body positivity. But first things first, if you're new here, will you hit that subscribe button down below, turn on those notifications. This way you don't miss any videos. And the second thing is, I'm not a medical doctor, I'm not a healthcare professional, this channel is based off my own experience losing over 122 pounds with a ketogenic lifestyle and intermittent fasting. Do your own research and do what's best for you. Um, what necessarily worked for me doesn't mean it's going to work for you. You do you at the end of the day. <laughs> oh, one more thing. I'm going to announce the two winners right here on the screen of the Perfect Keto base. Um, that I gave away in the last video. I'll post that here and I'll also put it in the description box and try to comment on my previous video how to contact me. So just send me an email with your shipping address and I'll get those right to you. So yeah. Um, so anyways, let's get started. So I have received a lot of comments about what I think um, of the Adele controversy, losing weight. Um, for one, I'm like, why is there a controversy? But two, I'm like, what is this? Let me see. So after doing a little research and seeing what the heck is um, so controversial about this, it turns out it's basically about a body positivity thing, giving in to pressure from Hollywood to lose weight, that whole topic. So as someone who's lost over 122 pounds, who was morbidly obese, I guess maybe my thoughts could be added to this topic. So I think Adele looks amazing and I am so proud of her for losing, uh, I guess she's lost over 100 pounds or something and whatever. Doesn't matter to me. What matters to me is she got healthy. She took charge of her health, whether she paid somebody to do it for her, um, whether she figured it out all by herself, whether she cooked her own meals, whatever, it doesn't matter. She got healthy. She was getting a lot of backlash for losing weight. If she was like one of the last people that was not known or didn't get her success based off of just being a size two. Like she legitimately is a rock star singer and has loads of talent. So like she earned that by being Adele, not by what she looked like. So um, to see so many people like upset that she lost weight and like, how is that? The part that I am frustrated about is how is that even something to be upset about? For one, she's never publicly said anything about how she did it, why she did it, you know, what diet. She never said anything like that. She posted one picture and it shows a obvious 100 pound weight loss. That's it. Like she wasn't even making a big deal about it. But to judge her for losing weight, you don't know her story. As someone, I am so, as someone who was morbidly obese, I am so proud of her. I know how hard that was. Granted, I never had someone telling me how to do it. I've had to do my own research and figure it out and fall flat on my face. So I'm sure she had some expert help because she can afford that. But the point is she did it. She's healthier and the reasons why she lost weight is none of our business. Um, obviously someone like me, I have a genetic heart defect. Would that make my journey less inspiring because I wanted to not make my heart worse? Like my heart can't be fixed. The only fix is a heart transplant. I have a genetic mutation. So does that mean I should just be fat and like give up on life? No, I mean, that means I have, I'm gonna work as much with this one as I have and make it, I am not gonna throw fuel in the fire and I'll get healthy and you know, I'll prolong that. I would love to be like in my 70s before I have that headache, you know? So that was my goal, but that doesn't mean that I give in to Hollywood's pressure or that I have this whole thing where I, my self-worth is only as thin as I am. That's, that part is like so out of touch. Um, I will agree with a lot of the, posi the, there's parts of that body positivity argument that I do agree with. For one, your self-worth should never be associated with a number on the scale. I fell victim to that debate. I fell victim to feeling that way. I fell victim to believing that that scale and the number that it showed on me is all I was really worth. Um, and when I should have been saying, 
that number on the scale is just a symptom of what I'm doing to myself on the inside. It's, an, it's a symptom. It's not the cause. It's not, it's just something that we use to measure. And instead of giving it all that power and to think that, um, to think that that's all you're worth, that's the part I do agree with on the body body positivity movement. Because someone who's tall, I'm big boned and I have a larger muscle muscle mask than the someone else, maybe my same height. I just my bone structure, everything's different. So to compare me to somebody else who is my same height, I probably weigh 20 pounds more. Like I wear my weight well. So the part that made me upset, why wouldn't you want to feel good? You know, like when I was waking up every morning at 309 pounds, I could not even, oh, I can't even explain how bad I felt. And it wasn't just looking in the mirror. I physically was tired. I physically was bloated. I had no energy. I had a bad attitude. I was shy and timid and it was not a way to live my life. So why would somebody encourage you to stay that way instead of fighting for what you should feel every day? You know, so like, why is that shamed? Is it, be, it has nothing to do with what you look like on the outside. Even though, yeah, I didn't like the way I looked, but it was, it was a symptom of a much bigger problem. It was, it was on the inside that was wrecked. I ruined my body being 309 pounds. So the outrage should not be, oh, you know, you're not, you're only worth something because you're thin. The outrage should be, why are you not caring about you, yourself, your health? Like, why are you not caring about that? Why are you just focusing on the external outside appearance? That fixes itself when you fix your health on the inside and not to mention the mental battle that you go through and you get rid of all that negative energy and you focus all on positive and the progress and living life again. Why is there not outrage for that health side of it? Where's the argument on she helped her, she changed her health? Where is that argument? So, and I mean, that's the driving force behind why I do what I do. I didn't feel good on the inside. And on the outside was just a symptom. And yes, I tied my value to that weight or the number on the scale. I was wrong there. I was absolutely wrong to, to attach my self-worth to that scale. You know, so, so I, if I could go back again, and not that I'd ever want to go back to being morbidly obese again, but if I could go back in time, I wish I could have told myself, stop focusing on the scale and focus on what is going on in the inside. Why am I so healthy? Why am I being compelled to eat so much? Why am I eating my emotions? You know, that whole thing. Why am I not caring about my health, my genetic heart defect? You know, like, why am I not caring about that stuff? Where's my will to live? Where's the quality of life? And then the bonus, if you get all that stuff together, you're going to look better. You know, so I mean, it's natural to feel that if you lose weight, you will look better and that's a good thing. And there's nothing wrong with feeling good with the way you look. But don't tie yourself, your entire big picture of self-worth to a scale, a number on the scale or a size of your clothes. Because I know as many idiots that are a size 2 as I do size 22. You know, like there's, the weight has no bearing on that. If you're just an idiot, you're an idiot. You know, it has nothing to do. But why wouldn't you care? Why, where's the outrage for, why do you not care about your health? Why are you so consumed with trying to be big and beautiful? when you're ruining your health. That's the part that I have issue with. I was that person. You know, I tried to love the skin I was in. I owned a boutique, a clothing boutique, because I couldn't find clothes that made me feel good. I mean, I since shut that boutique down. I wanted to clarify that. I don't run that boutique anymore. I did it for three years, and my, my passion turned into helping people lose weight instead. So I'm a full-time YouTuber now. I no longer have my boutique. But I'm saying I even opened a clothing store for plus-size ladies so that they could have cute clothes um, because I couldn't find something to make me feel good, you know? And all along, it was the inside drive every day to get out of bed and to change my life and to make better choices and just be better every time and not give up ever on my health. That's what changed everything. And as a bonus, 
I feel I look a lot better now. For all my hard work, I get to look better now, and I, it, for my own personal taste. So, um, I hope that makes sense. I kind of was all over the place because I have so many thoughts on this issue, but I feel like I, at the end of the day, to place outrage on somebody changing their life and losing a bunch of weight, there should be nothing but a round of applause. And it doesn't matter how they got there, they just got better. And they changed, and they cared about their health. And, um, and being someone like me, people who go, like when I, when I originally was 309 pounds, searching YouTube for someone to inspire me to change my life, when I originally felt that way, um, I never found somebody who was public about sharing their weight loss story that was truly morbidly obese. I'm not talking about someone that gained 30 pounds and got to 190 when they were nine months pregnant and counting that as weight loss. No, you had a baby. Um, that does drive me crazy. Like, I can't relate to that. You were never morbidly obese. So I was, n I just couldn't find somebody who was morbidly obese that changed their life through a special lifestyle and some hard work and along the way. So that's what prompted me to make my channel. I couldn't find that. Nobody wants to talk about it. I even was embarrassed to even, like there's people to this day who don't know I ever got morbidly obese. You know, I always kept it quiet. I hid from the camp. I was never in any pictures. I can't believe I have as many before pictures as I do. They, they got away from my deleting. They, I must have got sidetracked with a kid and, you know, or someone took the photo of me because I got rid of all of the pictures that had any evidence of me gaining 140 pounds. So, um, but I'm saying if I didn't have those few that I do, I, uh, I'm thankful now. But, um, but like I was very embarrassed that I gained that much weight. And I didn't want anybody to know that, oh my God, Jess got fat, you know? Like, I, it was always in my head, like, oh God, I can't go to high school reunion because they'll know I got fat. Like, there was a lot of that shame tied to it. So I, that's why when I decided to lose weight, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna take one for the team and I'm gonna dedicate a whole channel on this struggle. I'm going to show people my fat. And the funny thing is a lot of people are, um, they, I feel like I have to prove my fatness, like lately. <laughs> Uh, go back to the weeks one, two, three, month one. Yeah, I'm glad I took video of that because I have nothing but proof of my fatness. And I'm, I own it and I wear that here as a sense of pride because that girl back there, she was strong. She had the guts to share her story and inspire so many people to change their life the right way, healthy, you know, and taking it day by day and not focusing on the time that you get it, just doing something better every day. So, um, so yeah, I was embarrassed about the way I looked and I was shamed by looking that way, but I grew so much as a person by sharing that and owning it and being proud of that. And that's what got me who right where I am today. So I would never fat shame somebody because that was me. I am not any better than anybody because I've lost 122 pounds. I am only better at caring about myself. That's all that I'm better at, and that's by never giving up and caring what goes into my mouth and what every decision I do impacts my life. We get one body in this life. This body has to last me to the end. How are you gonna take care of yours? You know, like, are you gonna let it brittle, just get brittle and fall apart? And by, and by the time you're 50? Or are you going to take this body and work it until the end and be comfortable for as long as you can before you eventually, you know, pass on, you know? So I, my goal was to feel good for as long as I can. And if the symptom is I'm gonna look good, I mean, I, if the bonus is I'll look good in the process, hey, winning, hashtag winning. <laughs> so all in all, I feel like the comments that, the hate that has been given, the negativity that's been directed towards Adele is uncalled for. Um, and if that's your, if that's your jam, you just suck as a person because I, for one, could never not like somebody because of the way they looked. I don't like somebody because they're an asshole. That's my reason. You know, they're rude. They're an asshole. But me, to not like somebody or be not happy, to not be happy for somebody who has changed their life, I am nothing but inspired and so pumped for them because it's an amazing feeling. And just because you lose weight 
doesn't mean you gave in to the pressures to be thin. That is so far from, like somebody who's legitimately wanting to change their life, that is so far from the truth. For me, I could care less what anybody else thinks I look like. My goal was to get healthy and I could live as long as I could and not add fuel to my heart being morbidly obese. I wanted to live long for my kids and haunt them, you know, because <laughs> you can't get rid of moms that easy, you know. So my, my goals and my direction for losing weight versus what the societal norm is, where you get shamed for that or, you know, it doesn't matter at the end of the day. The only thing that matters is you got, you changed your life and you're healthy. And there's many ways to do it. Obviously, I'm an advocate for the no sugar, no carbs, you know, ketogenic way of eating um, and with intermittent fasting. But there's other ways people have lost weight. I mean, it's, it doesn't matter the how. It's you, you find something that you can do and stick with and you're inspired and motivated with and you can have support and it's easy and you'll get there. So, um, People, frankly, are jealous of her success, you know, they're instead of being happy for her and she has kids, um, what, we don't know why she did it, you know, like, come on now, there could be a legitimate medical reason. There's so many reasons that someone could change their life and that alone um, is something that's not our business and we should stay in our own lane and just be happy for them. You know, if there's so much negativity in this world, if someone does something good, um, that sucks. Like we gotta have more people lifting each other up and cheering each other on. So that's why I'm so appreciative of this Keto Rewind community. You guys have done nothing but cheer me on. I've had days where I've fallen flat in my face and there's been a whole rally of you commenting and just cheering me on. And I honestly couldn't do what I've done without this channel. So I will forever be thankful for this community. I will forever embrace your desire to change your life and I will forever be your biggest fan because I know how it feels to be morbidly obese and miserable and then to go through a weight loss journey, the emotional roller coaster ride to get to me to where I am today. I have not I have nothing more to say than I get it. And I am here for you. So that's, with that being said, like I said in my previous video, um, I am, when I get to my goal weight, I'm 12 pounds away. I have a plan <laughs> to make meal plans, weekly meal plans that I'm gonna make the, make the foods myself, video it, and give you the PDF printout every week of how to eat this way and explaining why I put stuff together. But I can't do that yet until I get to my goal weight because I have to focus on me. Um, and I have to finish what I started. I gotta get to my finish line. But know that I have so much in store for you for free as my way to give back to this community because it is something that's become a passion. It's not about any money to me. It's about sharing how good it feels to have victory on your health. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment below, what are your thoughts about the Adele controversy and body positivity? I have four minutes until my 40 hour fast is up. It's currently 11.39, so my fast is up at 11.44. Um, and that was a 40 hour window of fasting. So now I'm going to hop off, go film what I'm eating today, and I'll see you at the next video. I'm Jess, you're watching Keto Rewind. Go be great and be proud of who you are.